Hi, hello to the side and back. Welcome to Bubbly Toki. I'm your host, Tokika Uzuru, also known as Toki. That's like Loki, but with a T. And today, well, overall, this week has been stressful. Uh, I have to go ahead and prepare to not be able to make the video Thursday by making a video today. Wednesday, by the way. And so... Here we are. I have my tea, pomegranate black tea, and we're going to get into the history of my hair. So like any typical, typical, no, like most of the stories that you hear about people transitioning into being natural. My hair was relaxed since the beginning of when I can remember. I've always had my hair either kitty permed or relaxed. Apparently, according to my mom, my hair was very stubborn to the regular kitty relaxers kitty perms and the regular relaxers so she ended up having to get super for my head and she slowly helped me with taking care of my hair transitioning into me being more having more control over how I wear, wore my hair up when I went out until about seventh grade where I was just given the responsibility of not only making sure that I wash and condition my hair on my own but that I did it on my own. I say that as a question because I'm concerned a bit on how that actually worked. Anyway, by that time my hair was about shoulder length. It was cut early around maybe like at the end of my fifth grade year. for something that will go ahead and be in like a different story time. But I must, I neglected my hair for about, I'd say four years. And in those four years, my hair went from being shorter length to not even going past, not even going past like my head, like my ear, I guess, right here. I neglected my hair for about four years and it broke and the ends broke off. So we're at ninth grade, in the middle of ninth grade, and I decided that I was going to try to take some responsibility off of my mom's shoulders by doing my own hair. Because previously she would go ahead and do it if she had time, but most of the time back then she didn't because she was so busy. So I learned how to flat iron my own hair by just doing it. How I learn a lot of things, to be honest. Okay. I got so good where I was able to go ahead and I did it every week. I actually took care of my hair. And although I was taking care of my hair, my hair wasn't growing and I wanted to go ahead and be longer, so 
I end up researching how to grow out my hair. Naturally and for the cheap. So basically home remedies that I wouldn't have to spend much money on to grow out my hair. And you know what? It actually worked. I succeeded. My hair flourished. And by January of 2016, the month specifically that I had my last relaxer, my hair was about, mm, I'd say around shoulder length again. It barely touched my shoulders, but shoulder length. By this time, I've perfected the bangs that I usually give myself. The amount of volume that I would give it, flat ironing, of, flat ironing it, of course. I'm going to just say straightening now because trying to say flat ironing, ironing, yeah, straightening. And about um, May of 2017, I decided to cut off most of my hair because I knew that I had I still had the dead relaxed ends or chemically processed ends. But because of the fact that I didn't cut my hair when it was wet, I literally made sure that I didn't have any more chemically processed ends and cut my hair very short. So I spent about the next six months from there growing my hair out once again. It only took me about six months to get it back to it being shoulder length. If I'm to say anything, it's about like armpit length from where I have about right here. So I get comfortable, start playing around with my hair, start doing stuff like I did my own braids after having my sister do them and having to go ahead and redo a good portion of them. I ended up learning how to do my own braids that way. It's just because she didn't want to go ahead and tuck on my hair too hard. So she tried to, they were loose, they loosened, and I decided to go ahead and tighten them up and redo them, and I definitely learned. And then I wanted to dye my hair. I wanted to bleach and dye it blue. So I got I got focused. I tried my best to properly take care of my hair. And around January, the end of January of this year, 2019 to be exact depends on exactly when you're watching. I bleached, toned, and dyed my hair. Again, it was supposed to be blue, but because of the fact that I ended up getting a teal turquoise and a violet, 
it ended up in indigo. And then it faded. And because I needed another conditioner, I just decided to use the rest of a lot of different conditioners that I could that I couldn't finish by themselves along with the rest of the turquoise teal and violet because not only were they dye color dye hair dyes they were they had conditioning properties as well and so I ended up dyeing my hair a different shade of a weird shade of purple and that is what this has faded from it now looks gray on camera do I plan to recolor my hair yeah I just don't know when and I think that's that's about it of my hair's history. Thought that was gonna take a lot longer than it did. But it didn't. And now I'm stalling. I think updates. Oh, okay. So the before, during and after of the braiding thing. For this one, and I, I don't like the fact that I have to, but because I want to, it's getting colder and I want to make sure that I get these braids done. I'm just going to mix in, or at least talk about the things that I had, the prep work for doing the braids. While I'm braiding my hair on camera. As for the expose that I'm doing on a specific company, I want to make sure that I get that video out around November 21st. But again, I got to figure out what when that is this for this year. Anything else? I do have those songs that I want to go ahead and put out and will do later. And that's about it. That's all. Okay, I have stressed myself out enough for right now. I will close the journal. Because this is now the end. I hit my leg there. This is now the end. And let's do stereotypical stereotypical YouTuber outro. Like, share, subscribe. Whatever you want to go ahead and do at this point. I'm chill, not tired, just not as energetic as I would usually be in my videos because I still got other things I got to get done today and I will most definitely now that I think about it most definitely I don't know will I go ahead that shouldn't be a question. Most definitely see you in the next one.